In the Gospel according to St. John chapter 13, there's a lovely and a, rem a remarkable account of the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, eating with his disciples. And then we read in John 13 in verse number 4, He riseth from supper, laid aside his garments, took a towel, girded himself. After that he poureth water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. The Son of God, the Prince of Glory, without beginning and without end, the Creator of all things, here he is in human flesh, and he kneels at the feet of sinful men, his disciples, and he washes their feet. And they can't understand that even Peter says, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? And the Lord says, Peter, if I wash thee, thou hast no part with me. And what I do, thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. And then the Lord challenges them, if I, as I have washed your feet, even so ye ought to wash one another's feet. It was the greatest act of condescension and the greatest act of humility outside of the cross and outside of the incarnation. It's a remarkable event. The Son of God kneeled down and washed the feet of his disciples. Selfless. You know, self and the crucifixion of self and the surrender of self and the denial of self are some of the most difficult things we are find to do in the Christian life. We find it so difficult to put others first. We all have our pet preferences. Maybe we have to get it our way. Our opinion has to be heard. Our will has to be done. Our feelings have to be respected. We have to get it our way. We have to get our special place in the church, our pew in the church, whatever it might be, and we are so, so desirous to have things our way. And we count ourselves to be so important. And yet here was the most important man that ever lived. And he gladly yielded up his place. He gladly took a towel and girded himself and kneeled down and washed the dirty, dusty feet of his disciples. And friends, that was the Son of God. And he says, you ought also to wash one another's feet. You know, he was speaking, of course, figuratively. But you know, if we took this literally, how humbling it would be for us. Can you imagine coming into church on a Sunday, getting a basin of water and washing the feet of other Christians? I would find that very, very difficult. But the Lord here is giving us a lesson on the surrender of self, the denial of self, being clothed with humility. Friends, where are we today in our walk with God? Where are we today in the Christian life regarding self? Self-will must go. We are to put others before ourselves. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. This is a simple golden rule of Christianity. Love thy neighbour as thyself. It's not about me getting my way. It's not about you getting your way. It's about Christ being honoured and glorified. And if that means saying no to self, if that means denying self, well and good. Because friends, that is the very essence of Christianity. Jesus Christ said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. And if you're not willing to deny yourself, and if I'm not willing to deny myself, Christianity is not the right religion for us. Because the cross is an eye stroked out. Paul said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. These are very serious issues. Are you willing today to surrender self, to crucify self, to surrender your pride, to repent of that, and to put Jesus Christ first, to seek first the kingdom of God, to esteem others better than yourself, and not to insist on in getting it your way, and not to get offended if you don't get it your way, but to take a leaf out of the Saviour's book, to put others first, and to wash the feet of the disciples. Think about these things 
God bless you.